Good afternoon. afternoon. We have just left Simrose. This marks the end of our time in India because we are headed to the airport in Goa. Yep, we have two flights coming up. So the first one is going to be across the country to Chennai and then on to our next country of Sri Lanka. Our first flight is at 7.50 p.m. And so we are kind of traveling through the night because we arrive in Sri Lanka at 2.30 in the morning. So this should be an interesting travel day for you to accompany us on. Wish us luck. Feeling just as tender as the taxi ride to uh, even get us to our resort in the first place. But hey, we're here now. We're on solid ground, which is the key thing. And now we're just waiting to check in for our flight. This is the line to check in, so it's a really good thing that we're early. After an hour and 15 minutes, we are now officially checked in and through security. Just to note, everybody, security in the airport is no joke. Unlike most airports, where all you need to take out is your cell phone, laptop, iPad, liquids. Here, take off your watch. They also ask you to take out every single one of your electronic cables. And if you have nail clippers, not just scissors, they often pull you aside for that too. Yeah. So just be prepared to basically unpack your entire bag and for it to take a while. Yep. We literally never had that in any other country before. Hopefully this is the only place, but I guess we'll find out as we go along. Better safe than sorry. I suppose. After a two-hour delay, we are now on our flight to Chennai. We should be getting there in about an hour and 14 minutes time, fingers crossed. But that does mean that we're going to be absolutely asked to get to our next flight, which then goes up. Exactly. So yeah, let's see how things shake out. Interesting. Yeah, apologies for not really filming anything because our flight from Goa to Chennai was delayed by two hours. We knew this would be a tight connection with our onward flight to Colombo. The reason it was so stressful is because we had to completely exit the domestic terminal, re-enter the international terminal where there's a security check just to get in. We then had to go through immigration to show our passports, then security. We only got to security 10 minutes before our flight was even starting to board, at which point we kind of asked around and everyone was like, no, please just go for it. And out of the kindness of their hearts, we managed to basically skip through a security line that would have 100% caused us to miss our flight. I think people had been standing in it for at least an hour and we got through it maybe three to five minutes after our flight supposedly started boarding. We rushed through the airport, arrived at the gate only to find out that our flight doesn't board for another 10 minutes. So it's all good, but it was stressful and rushed. Yeah, I think they just started calling now. So uh, with that, let's head to Sri Lanka. finally got into Colombo at about 2.30, but before we left the airport, we got me a SIM card, which has a crazy amount of internet. It was 30 gigs, but 
you don't use any of your 30 gigs if you're using WhatsApp, Facebook, Messenger, YouTube, Instagram. So it's like all of that for free plus 30 gigs, all for seven dollars. US. US dollars, which is incredible. If only we had those deals in Canada. Oh, fucking great. And then after that, we had to exchange money. We had to withdraw money. We needed to get water so we could brush our teeth tonight. And then the hardest part, seemingly, was actually getting out of the airport and getting the taxi because seemingly there was a traffic jam outside the airport due to the number of uber drivers who were trying to wait to get in so we were told to cancel two rides so we went we, from paying a seven dollar six dollars even we went from paying six dollars with uber to sixteen dollars with a taxi because we just couldn't get an uber exactly but we are now at our hotel. We're only staying here one night, but it has been a long night. It is now 4.20 in the morning and we have to check out by 11. So we're gonna hit the hay, but we'll pick this back up tomorrow morning. So, bye bye. See ya. Gumbug. We had a short but restful sleep and we are trying to get to a point where we're ready to go for the day. So we're having some breakfast here at the Skinny Pseudo Cafe. Slash Cafe Zen. And um, so we're going to enjoy a nice breakfast and then we're going to head on to Dan Buller with anybody. just finished the most delicious breakfast at this place that is just like a secret garden. Those pancakes combined with the homemade sorbet, and we haven't had fresh fruit in a while. The chocolate muffin, I think, was like soaked in espresso. And it basically, like the consistency wasn't like a typical muffin at all. It was basically more like a brownie or a lava cake. So it was like very, very rich and just so much flavor inside it. I know Amazing. people hate this word, but it was very moist, which I enjoy. And then we had the vegan carrot cake and the cream cheese frosting, although it's vegan, was to die for. And again, tons of carrots, there were some raisins and nuts and cinnamon. The flavor was amazing. Oh Never had anything like it. Honestly, this place, if you find yourself in Nagambo and you've got a clear morning for your breakfast, then it's worth coming here. Absolutely. They have tons of smoothies, they have smoothie bowls, they have homemade granola, they have iced coffees, normal coffees. I would love to come here again to like try their whole menu. Yeah. Based on like the few things that we've had here, then I think it's very clear the quality just runs through the menu. And that's including the drinks. Like you had a one fully flavoured iced tea. I ended up just having a Ceylon Black, which was probably one of the better black teas that I've had for a very long time. So yeah, this, this has to be a place. It's great. But now we have to find the bus station so we can head to Dambolo, which is where our adventure in Sri Lanka really starts. Let's go. from Nagambo to Kurunagawa, which is where we are right now, and it cost 520 rupees per person, which is just over two Canadian dollars per person. And now we're on the bus that's going to take us to our final destination of Dambula, and I think it's 234 rupees per person, some weird price, but either way, it's just under a dollar per person. So, pretty cheap journey. The first part of the journey was what, like, 
two, two and a half hours, and I think this is going to be about the same. So I think the greatest thing is actually it's been pretty straightforward. Like it's not been chaotic at all. Like whenever we've asked somebody to help, they point us in the right direction. They haven't asked for anything in return. It's just been pretty smooth sailing so far. Let's hope that that continues. Yeah, that's all. to our hotel in Dambola. It's called Sayar Inn. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's in a very peaceful environment. It's a little bit out of the city, but close to the caves. So that's exciting. Everything's gone so well in Sri Lanka so far. I don't want to jinx it, but we kind of love it. Yeah, it's been great. Or it seems to be like all of kind of the beauty of India and some lovely people and all that kind of stuff. But just a lot less chaos, which I think we're really, really appreciating. Exactly. Like, it was just so nice looking out the window while the bus was driving. The buses were really easy to navigate. Mm. It was comfortable. And as you said, everyone was so helpful and friendly. Yeah. Food's been great so far. So we're really excited to see what this country has to offer. Yeah, we'll look ahead to our first day of actual sightseeing in Sri Lanka tomorrow which is incidentally also going to be my birthday. So that's going to be something to look forward to. But until next time, take care. And keep smiling. After an hour and 15 minutes, we are now officially checked through. With our onward flight to Columbus. <laughs> Basically, we had, we had to completely exit the domestic terminal. We had to completely exit the domestic terminal.